you do spend a bit of time on your Twitter, don't you, when you're out yeah. and about away? Yeah. And, uh, it's good fun. Yeah, it's I like that. Like I like it, it when you come off court and then you say what yeah. you, what's happened to you. Do you think that things like that are important for? Yeah, well, I think you know, just like on my website and stuff, I update it. You know, a, a lot. Um, you know, one of my my friends does the the website, so he comes along to all my training days and practice days, and then when I'm away, I you know, do the Twittering and stuff. And yeah, for people that want to follow you, it's nice just, you know, little updates here and there, um, you know, talking about like forfeits and stuff that we've done throughout the day and whatnot. <laughs> but do you get on with the other players? Do you all mix together? Yeah, the thing is like, I get on with most of the players, but the- Do you, do you hang out though? No, that's, that's the thing. Right. At the, when you're at the courts, you do, but there's so few guys like go out for dinner with each other and stuff. And they're like, you know, the Spanish guys will go out for the, with the Spanish guys. South Americans will go out with each other and the Americans, but like, got no players. <laughs> you're so your own. Like, <laughs> 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 I got, yeah, I'm just kind of a bit of a loner. Um, <laughs> But no, I mean, yeah, it is kind of like that. Very few sort of guys like mix sort of off the court and away from the tennis that much. Really? Yeah. It's it. I mean, there should be there should be more of it, but it's just like, you know, if you have to play them the next day or, you know, like, I don't know, like you play against them, you know, the following week and something, I don't know, something happens on the court or it's just weird playing against your friends if you have like too many of them. I always find it weird playing against Tim. Right, because I'd spent a lot of time with them. And but do you, do when you, when you go out, do you have like do you play against the other players, sparring partners, uh, sort of practicing? Yeah. Would you, would you play against Nadal, warming up or something? Yeah, I warm up with Nadal quite a lot. I do get you? On, yeah, I get on well with him. We practice quite a lot together, and because uh, well, he's number one in the world just now, and I'm three. Like, if we like you know, try to practice together, we get like good courts, we get like, you know, <laughs> so, you know we get, uh, we don't have to like share with the other players. If, you know, if I practice with someone else, sometimes you have like four players on a court and you can't really practice properly. So if we try and pair up with one of the higher ranked guys, we get the good, good That's courts. Good. That's good, Well, the first time I interviewed you on Soccer Air, it was great because you just knew everyone, where they were ranked, who you, what you had to do to win, to get up the rankings. I mean, I can't remember what where you were ranked when I first met you, but it definitely wasn't yeah, three. Yeah. So are you, I mean, it's phenomenal, isn't it? Where you've come, you must be. You're obviously happy, but can you believe you've got there so quickly? Yeah, it kind of it's happened really quick since uh, since last year. But I kind of did it. It was quite a steady progression, but it happened. Uh, I did make some pretty significant jumps, like quite quickly. I went like from 350 to like 60 in the space of three months and then 60 I got up to 20 quite quickly and then 20 to 10 and then this year it's been or well, from actually Wimbledon last year I went from like 12 to, to 3 and now just two more places to go. So. Yeah what do you have to do to get to number one? How, how many tournaments do you have to win? If I won Wimbledon I'd be close. Mm -hmm.